in any event, uh, the legislative leaders and the governor negotiate uh, the budget and hopefully come to an agreement. The House and the Senate uh, debate it. Usually those debates law last uh, long into the night, even though the outcome is generally already known. Uh, amendments are offered and uh, we'll try and reach a consensus. And then if it passes, just like any other legislation, it goes to the governor and for her uh, veto or her signature ends June 30th. And you know that, that's coming up in a month and a half. We anticipate at this point, we'll have about a $1.3 billion budget deficit. And then you've got the town budgets, which are uh, approved based upon what the expectation of the state funding will be. And that's always difficult for the municipalities. Uh, you know, the budgets are going on now uh, in 169 towns and cities. And we're not exactly sure, because our process doesn't line up with theirs, exactly how much they're going to get if they're going to get more or less. Um, in terms of looking at the, the pieces of the pie there, uh, we've got human services, which uh, takes up uh, the biggest part of the pie, about 27%. And uh, you know that's comprised of uh, the biggest portion, the majority is Medicaid. Uh, you have SAGA, which are the, um, the general assistance benefits and such that, that make up uh, the balance of it. But it's primarily Medicaid payments that are the big bulk of the budget. We've also got education and the ECS grants, which total about 21 percent, and you know, a very healthy number that also includes money that we spend on higher education. And then we've got a lot of smaller accounts, but a lot of little accounts adds up to a lot of money. And uh, you know, our debt service in the state of Connecticut, because we've been bonding too much money, is 11 percent. That's not healthy, but that's the reality. And as we'll talk about perhaps a bit more later, that number is only exist. Now, the Democrats have a proposal for the buy-in as well. Um, they have spending that's actually slightly below the governor's spending level. Um, they um, level the funding of ECS, which is the state education in other towns. They take a $24 million cut in the Pequot Fund, which are funds that go directly to the municipalities. They bond $5 million, $5 million increase to the town aid for road. Uh, they don't call, unfortunately, for any consolidations or eliminations of agencies. They do uh, eliminate 66 managerial positions in the Department of Children and Families. So those are the, um, the highlights of the Democrats uh, in terms of the spending side. The tax side um, calls for uh, an increase in the income tax. It's retroactive to the beginning of this year, and you can see how the, um, the rates go up, <coughs> excuse me, uh, starting with couples that earn $250,000 a year and up, and singles who earn one hundred thirty-two five dollars annually. It's a graduated tax increase, 6%, 7%, 7.5%, and then just under 8% um, for the wealthiest. Unfortunately, they call for phasing out the property tax credit. This is the credit that we all try and claim on our uh, state uh, income tax returns, uh, usually for our car taxes or our house taxes. And it's going to be uh, phased out in a couple years um, and phased out altogether for folks uh, earning more than $46,000. In general, everyone's hurting. And a lot of Fairfield County folks are hurting because of our connection with Wall Street. But I think people in Trumbull, based upon my mail, my, my email, my constituent interaction, um, people can't afford the tax increases that are being The Democrats proposed. presented a budget that had three and a half billion dollars of tax increases. And the Democrats in the assembly and the Senate, uh, for the House and the Senate, have a veto-proof majority. And truly what the governor said to the Democrats were, pass that budget. Just pass that budget. Veto me and pass that budget. She tested the will of the Dems in truly believing 
their budget, and they didn't. So here we are at Stalmate, and I think we had a conversation with the governor, we sat down with her about a week and a half ago, in which she said, the frustration that I have is we have a looming budget crisis of historical proportion, and I am watching on the TV screen the body deliberating about paintballs. Truly, it is an issue of recognizing that we need to take action. And, and truly, the people in this community and throughout the state need to let the people up in Harper know that they cannot afford to wait. If you look at the history of this waiting, every delay has added more financial pressure to the state today. You're right, Karen, absolutely. We raise taxes and we are begging companies and people to leave. Um, so you might get that revenue for half a year or a year or more, but it disappears soon thereafter. And it's the mentality in government that this isn't your money, this is their money. Your paycheck that you earn, you deserve part of it, but we gotta figure out how much we need to run this government. We'll figure that out and we'll adjust accordingly and then we'll get some I mean, tax freedom day in, in Connecticut, you know, it takes us months to reach. I don't know, if, is, it, is, it, is it May you know, 15th? It's coming up this year. It's the latest in the nation, and Tax Freedom Day is when, you know, you pay your local, your state, and your federal taxes. That's absurd that, you know, this country is founded upon taxation without representation, paying too, much, too many taxes to the, to the throne in England, um, and we're paying you know, tenfold uh, and beyond what there was a revolution about uh, 200. Close off this discussion by simply saying, I think legislatures should think more like households like yours, and yours, and yours. Because the reality is, when there are economic difficulties in your household, when there is shortfall in income, households make hard decisions. They make cuts. They determine what their priorities are, and they live within their means. The government, the state government, has gone away from that. They have found the magic solution of taxing the people. And, and I believe the fundamentals are, 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 are misplaced. Let's get our house in order in the state. Let's be responsible. Let's make the spending cuts that we need to, make the responsible cuts, and let's give people in this state a chance to grow, thrive, and enjoy what a great state truly is.